Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be looking at a new game called The Bloodline, an open sandbox adventure RPG that lets you play your way, Ex explore the wilds, craft and plan adventures, and wield mighty weapons or magic, reform bonds between the kingdoms, construct your village, that sounds awesome, and prepare the world for the return of the Unforgiven. This is on Steam for $20, but right now it's on sale for 33% off till October 12th. And I heard it's made by one guy. I don't know if that's true, but it sounds pretty dope. Let's get started. And this will be season one. I played the game for, I don't know, about an hour, man. And I'm going to tell you, like, this game really came out of nowhere for me. Like, I never heard of this game before. And then I'm like, oh, let me check this game out. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this, game, this game is really, really cool. So let's check it out. There is my guy. And I don't think I'm going to do too much with him. Um, except for, let's give him a goatee. Although I don't know what the point of the goatee is because he's still got like the five o'clock shadow. So I'm not really sure what the point of that is. We're going to go ahead and create our character. Welcome to the bloodline. The bloodline is an open ended experience where you create the character that you want to play as man. I love that. There's so many games out there, survival games, especially that lock you into playing a specific way. And um, a lot of those games are fantastic, but I like the idea of opening it up to let you play the way you want to play. There are hundreds upon hundreds of spells and skills to unlock, allowing you to craft uh, the exact class you have in mind. Ooh. Are they going to be necromancers? Because that would be pretty dope. Nearly every action you do is rewarded to cater to everyone's play style. So this is a learn by doing thing, which is fantastic. Um, want to just craft weapons and build your village? Go for it. Want to avoid crafting all together and focus on melee combat? No worries. Play the way you want to play. There is no uh, singular way uh, the game is meant to be played. Right now, the game is mostly an open world playground where you can roam free, freely, earn experience in whatever way possible, and unlock fun skills to use in a big playground. As development continues, more of the story will be added and segments will be continued as available. Um, please keep in mind that this is an early access game and you will run into bugs. Um, please have patience and understand. Yeah, I, I understand that. You guys who don't understand that, read that slowly. If you don't like, you know, bugs and unfinished stuff and, you know, they're working on the game, then don't play early access games. It's that simple. Okay, so this is just all a bunch of stuff that I don't really have to care too much about. Um, all right, so I just got an achievement <laughs> five seconds into the game. That's awesome. Um, I received five gold and got an achievement. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is run around here and see if I can loot anything. And I don't feel bad because I... Oops. I don't feel... Oh, it closed it automatically. Cool. I don't feel bad because I think this is my room. So, there we go. Nothing in there. What do we got over here? Ah, take a bath. Okay. All right, we got some uh, stuff over here. I think I can loot this. Take all. Loot this. Take all. We will look into this stuff in a minute. I'm just going to kind of loot it all for now. Beautiful. All right, so it looks like that's everything in here. All right. I, I think this is my castle. Okay, let's take a look at our inventory. I will try and remember to press I for inventory. We've looted things like wheat. Um, we've got apples. You don't have to, I don't think you have to eat or drink in this game, but if you do, you'll get some hit points back, um, depending on what you eat or drink. So we've got some, um, ooh, deer bait, some ale, some rum, garlic, carrots, old parchment, not worth much. Got some leaves, uh, salt, glass bottle. What is this? Portal coin? Contains great magic. Flipping this coin into the ground will open a portal that you can use to travel anywhere. Uh, travel to any major city. Wow. I guess it's probably really only used once, though. All right. Uh, a couple things I want to show you, though, before we get going is it does have a journal, which is awesome. It's got crafting. Let's take a look at some of the crafting objects. Uh, you have to use your mouse wheel for this, which is a little weird, but there you go. You can make wood crates and barrels. You can make fences. You can make decorations. Uh, you can make survival stuff, which is... Uh, Campfire, camping chair, animal trap, campfire, wait, small campfire, then campfire, tent, bedroll, farming plot. Uh, I don't know what this necromancer stuff is, but it sounds dope as hell. You can make a gravestone, a coffin, skull pikes, dark obelisk, tombs, death statues. Um, yeah, that sounds awesome. Was that death statues? Yeah, death statue. All right, cool. Um, seating and engineer. I don't know what the hell engineer is. I don't know what that is. So we'll just kind of figure that out as we go. Um, it does. It's got a calendar. Like, look at this, man. A freaking calendar. Uh, this allows you to glimpse into the future to see what events wait you. Um, pay close attention to what events are coming up. That's freaking cool. 
Uh, some events have permanent consequences if you choose to ignore or... Oh, right now you can only... Right now you can only see a week into the future. Um, if you continue to strengthen your tether, you'll be able to see farther. Okay, so right here we have the cruel mass of goblins of Glenheim Hills. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. Um, so you got some skill books here. I don't have any skills yet, so the skill book's empty. Uh, you've got skill trees. I'm going to do melee one-handed. Just keep it simple. All right. And what else do we have? Oops. Resume. And that's about it. And you got the overworld thing. We'll get into that in a minute. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Is there anything back here? No. Just making sure. Better take everything I can. Good morning. Here's your uniform. Freshly washed. Harbringer. I don't know what the Harbringer is. Um, after you're done getting dressed... My father requests to meet him near the armory to begin your training. Understood. My pleasure. Good luck. Before you go, I can give you a general overview of the controls. Nah, I pretty much understand the controls. Uh, anything back here? Nope. All right, so we don't have a quest to talk to this guy. Oh, a running skill just increased. And what you could do is you go to your inventory and you go to detailed stats. And you've got wood cutting, foraging, running, jumping, mining, climbing. If you'd like to look at the rest of these, go ahead and pause the video. I'm not going to read them all. All right, so just check this out. There we go. And you got all the stuff over here for you. And uh, what is this? Achievements. I don't really care about achievements. Unless they affect the game in some way. I don't, you know, I don't play games for achievements. You can take books out of here, but I can't really do anything with them. I can drop them or throw them. It's almost like I'm a ghost. Like, <laughs> just throwing books around. Oh, look at that. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, let's talk to everybody. Is something I can assist you with? What is it you do around here? Uh, do you actually read all these books? I should get going. Okay. I'm only going to look for quests. I'm not going to chat these people up right now. I just, I want to get going. If I chatted these people up, we'd never leave the, we'd never leave the castle. Uh, so this looks interesting. This looks like something I could buy and sell from. Uh, good to see her. How goes your research? Great as always. I've received the latest batch of, uh, gyrocoptic stabilizers from my dwarven friends. Okay. I've been trying to make a companion to help me in the shop. Oh, cool. Like a robot? That's cool. Um, I hate to ask you, but if you're interested, yes, I will help. Okay. All right. Awesome. Yes. I would like a robot, please. Um, so where is this guy? Is this him? I forget. Yep. That's him. I've actually been meaning to talk to you about something. What is it? Let me uh, tell you a story. Just get to the point. Down to business. <laughs> yes, exactly. The point is that the people of Euros? I don't know how to say that. Um, they're losing faith in my bloodline. Basically, I have to go around and, and suck up to everybody so they'll like me. Got it. Um, he's. At, I'm telling him I need a weapon. I want a short sword. Thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and equip it. And then we will put on our armor. Uh, pants. Well, <laughs> it's not really armor, but, you know, it's something. Okay. Uh, let's talk to these people. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, something really gusts the wind, blew my hat off. Yeah, okay. So these are all just like quests. Just like quests. I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna do them all. Maybe not all today, but we will do them. Uh, do you need any help around here? Uh, uh, I can get rid of the mold. I can do that right now. I can't do that right now. Okay. Sounds good. I don't know what goblin mold is, but I'm going to get it. So if they're question marks, that means I can get a quest from them or maybe even turn it in. If they're exclamation points, that means um, I'm, I guess they're waiting for me to do my quest. Uh, something I can help you with. I want to restore the stronghold to its former glory. Well, I'd say the castle itself is a relatively great condition, not much worse than a few centuries ago. Um, what I mean to say is that former glory you speak of didn't come from the thickness of the wall. Okay, come on, man. Um, how can we restore to glory? Rebuilding. Yes, this is what I want to get into. Any of the plots out there are ripe for taking. With enough uh, dedication, you could have your very own village outside of the castle walls. Yes, that's what I want to do. Um, I'm just here to talk, actually. Um, okay. So I don't... Did I not get a quest from him, or... Let me see if I can get a quest from him. Father, um, you devil, and whatever. Just... It's true... What do you mean? I really don't want to sit through all this talk because it's just, like I said, it would be the whole video. 
Okay. All right, I don't know how to get the quest from him, so maybe I, maybe I can't get a quest from him just yet. I'm uh, feeling peckish I am. Um, I can make something um, that sounds delicious. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I'm interested in learning. Right. Yes, I am. Right. Simple. Let's say a basic stew. All right, you got it. I've got more quests than my... This reminds me of MMOs I used to play. I got quests like all down the right side. Where do you get your materials from? Mining and smelting tutorial. All right. Other than deliveries, we get a strong home. I mine for resources myself. How can I do that? I try to hand it mining. Well, you've come to the right man. You can find mining out. Yeah, I've already done some mining. Okay. Sounds good. I'm on it. Okay. All right, let's go outside now. Um, oh. Why is it telling me to come to this person? All right, whatever. I'll mess around with that later. Um, I just wanted to grab a bunch of quests. Now we're going to go outside. And I need to do something. I don't know what I'm supposed to do outside. Oh, yeah, check this out. So you can, like, repair stuff. Uh, the requisition office allows you to um, buy basic goods at a fair price as well as sell your unwanted items for a bargain. So you can get this stuff and then fix this up. This is what's really got me excited about this game, by the way. All right, I got rid of all the other quests. I just um, unmarked them. I still have the quests, but they're just unmarked. And now I got to go over there and clear out a uh, bandit camp. Or not, I'm sorry, not a bandit camp, a goblin camp. The world of the bloodline is split into two perspectives. The perspective you are you are currently in, character perspective, and an overworld top-down perspective. You can enter the overworld at any time by using the radio menu and selecting the map icon from the bottom. For a more immersive experience, you can also walk to area bound uh, areas bounds where you'll be prompted to leave the area and enter the overworld. Okay. So I actually um, look water. Yeah, fishing. Okay. I haven't done anything with fishing yet. Um, I have, uh, gone into the overworld, but the thing is I can't get out of it unless I get close to something. So I'll show you the overworld in a minute. Let's, um, let's take out these guys. Oh, I did level up as well. So when you level up, you get to choose whether you want hit points, magic, or health. I'm sorry, health, magic, or stamina. I'm going to go with health. And we'll go health again. Okay. Now that I've leveled up, I might have a skill points um one-handed proficient now man level oh no i do have a skill point okay so you basically have the skill tree here i'm gonna you have to pick this one first apparently so i'm gonna pick run through um plunge your weapon forward deal three times damage to your enemy six if they're ragdolled and 12x if they're unconscious so we're gonna go ahead and grab that and then you go into your skill tree no i'm sorry you go into your skill book and then you Bring it down there. Okay. I don't know what ragdoll means. I don't know how to parry. I don't know anything yet. So we're just gonna kind of see. I know how to. I know how to dodge. If you hold down block and spacebar, I think that's like um, uh, like what do you call it, Valheim? Uh, you can dodge. But other than that, I don't. Oh, and if you press C, you can go into slow slow motion mode. And I'm just gonna try and pull one guy at a time. I'd prefer not to pull the whole camp. Am I still in slow motion mode? I guess I am. Okay, here we go. Ah, I got the whole camp. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Also, hitting him in the head does matter. So go for the head if you can. Also, for some reason, my one my one button is not working with my special attack. Sometimes it doesn't work, and if I press control and control again, it will start working. Get out of here! I said, get out of here! You get loot automatically, but they can also drop weapons. I killed some bandits in my test game, and there was, like, weapons, like, lying out there, and you just have to go get them. I don't know if there's anything that helps you get stamina back quicker. Let's take a look at the stamina skill. Oh, there is no stamina skill. I have to do it when I level up. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at stamina. If it just gives me a bigger stamina pool, I'm like, eh. But if it makes stamina come back quicker, I will be more apt to use it. Alright, guys. Let's do this. By the way, that stab has a really long range, so... Yeah. Come on. There you go. You're dead. You're dead next. Oh, I pressed control. Okay. 
I, I usually press control to dodge, you know, so I gotta remember not to press control to dodge. Alright, so I killed all of those guys, and I did level up. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I must have got a, um, I must have leveled up a skill or something, like one of those learn by doing things. So I don't think there's anything I can take in here, but if you check this out, look at this. There's different stuff you can build. You can make wizard towers, libraries, stables. Like, so look at this. Look at this list of stuff. Unbelievable. And I got to look into all this, man. I'm very excited about this game, as if you couldn't tell. All right, let's go turn in the quest. All right, so to go turn in the quest, I'm going to go to overworld mode. Okay? I don't really f see this. Well, actually, it is kind of useful in, in, in a way. I'll, I'll, you'll see it later. But for now, you can just kind of click around. And then what I can do is I can go over to here. And... I don't know how I did this. I, I, I mined something last time. Um, maybe I, maybe it's because I don't have a pick. I don't know. You can hold spacebar to speed up time. Um, see location names. Oh, I just started mining it. Okay. You can visit the location anytime. Just travel to them. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have to get used to this. Uh, there are many more features coming. So, uh, caravans, ambushes, large-scale combat events. Okay. So you can see right there I'm getting uh, that stuff. And... I think what I want to do is I want to see if I can get some stone. So I think if you press E or something, you're supposed to be able to mine the stone. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing it. I, I believe that I pressed E to, to mine the iron. Now I'm not seeing Oh, press E to mine iron. There you go. I don't know. I should be able to mine stone somewhere. I'll, I'll mess around with that later. What I'm going to do now is... See, like right now, if I'm not near something, I can't get out of this view. You're stuck in it. So if you come to, like, a castle or something, um, you'll be able to get out by pressing E. You go into the castle. Also, there will be spots... There will be spots... Parts? <laughs> there will be spots on the map you can, um... You can just, uh, camp, and then you're good to go. Uh, I think I could sleep in my bed, so I'll probably go... Where do you saw that? I think I will turn in this quest, and then I will go up to sleep in my bed so it's not nighttime. And I haven't slept yet, so I don't know how it works, but... You know, we'll have to see. All right, running increase level four. Now, what is really quickly? What does running increase level four do for you? Well, it'll tell you if you mouse over it. All right, the higher your running level is, the less stamina you'll consume while running. You also gain a small speed bonus with each level, so that's really good. I really like games that tell you exactly what's going on. Uh, yes, I have. Seems you're ready to head on your own. What do I do now? Seeing that you can handle yourself, perhaps time to make a pilgrimage to the steps of. S. Ross. Um, it's a pilgrimage. It's it's a pilgrimage site, or at least it was. Uh, ruined visit. Okay, so yeah, we got to go up there. Where are the steps? Got it. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's go see if we can find our bed again. <laughs> I, gotta go to, I gotta go check out the bed, dude. I'd be creeped out sleeping in a room this big in real life, man. Oh, apparently these respawn. I never left the game, right? No. So these just respawn. I don't even know. Um, well, early access probably. That's why. All right, what else? Let's see if we can go to bed. So, um, time upon waking. So let's wake up at six fifty-five. I don't know if there's any downside to sleeping through the night, but I don't think there is, as far as I can tell. You have anything else to say? Uh, nope, not right now. Okay, nothing to say there. All right, we need to go to the, the steps of Esros, but we probably will not do that right now. I think what I want to do is I want to look through my quest. Let's see what, let's see what, oh, I leveled up. Hold on. Leveled up. I want to see what stamina does for you exactly. If it's just a bigger stamina pool, or if you get better stamina regeneration. Permanent increase to your stamina. Increase the stamina regen. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's go for two. I won't be doing any magic on this playthrough, but, you know, maybe uh, in a future playthrough, we'll see. I'll definitely do magic at some point. I'm going to want to. All right, let's take a look at our journal. All right, so we got a hat. Um, okay, let's... Or, sorry, the bot. Let's do the bot. Oh, copper ore? Deliver magnifying lens. An artificer um, needs a few items. Um, he needs a magnifying lens. So he provided me with the funds to purchase the magnifying lens from the gear beard store in elder Glen. Okay. So we got to go to elder Glen either way. Um, but I think I'm going to want to look for some copper first. So I know where iron is, but I don't know about copper. So we're going to go out there. We're going to look for some copper. I know exactly where El elder Glen is and it's going to be cool. Cause I get to show you the top down travel 
uh, the way it works in this game. Um, this game, like, really, one developer? Is that true? I heard that somewhere, and, like, I gotta know if that's true. Because if that's true, that's freaking amazing. Uh, what can I do to help out? Yep, yeah. okay, sounds good. Yeah, you're welcome, I'm on it. Eventually. Not right now. But eventually. Alright, um, let's get rid of that quest, or at least take it off our thing. Um, we're going to do this one. And then, I can't tell what's- okay, so the bot is good. The steps, that one goes off. And decoration. Decorating goes off. Okay. Let's see if we can find some copper. Um, I'm not seeing the iron here that I was mining before. Do you not see the iron when you're in first person? Huh. Alright, well, let's go to the overworld and see. Because I'm pretty sure there was an iron node. I didn't mine it all. I don't even know if you can mine it all. Honestly. Um, yeah, so there's the ore right there. Okay, so let's look for some copper. I don't know if there's a specific area where there's bound to be more copper. But I will look around and see. Oh, so there's some stone. Let me see if I can mine this stone. Speed up with space part, by the way. Alright, C to enter. C... All right, so I can't mine that. All right, fair enough. I'm not seeing any copper. All right, we got a goblin out here. It looks like he's all by his lonesome. Whoops. Again, I can't use my ability. So a lot of times... Oh, yeah, he was stunned. Oh, now he's dead. Wait, what? Whoa! What the... Whoa! Whoa! All right, me and you're gonna dance, bro. Come on, die! Man, he's freaking level eight too. Oh, I got no stamina. Oh, how many of them are out here? What did he do? Oh, he just summoned guys. He summoned undead. Unbelievable. I want to do that. There's one thing I know about necromancers, ignore their guys and hit them. Come on. Come on, we need some stamina. Do not sprint, do not sprint. Please don't heal yourself. Alright, he's down. Oh man, his freaking skeleton- Oh, I'm burning. <laughs> his skeletons don't die with him? What the hell? Mine would. Alright, we'll get him. We'll get him, it's just gonna take a little bit of time. I don't know why I didn't have to kill- like that- like- Okay, so a goblin was standing there. I killed the goblin and the guy's like, YOU DIDN'T HAVE TO KILL HIM! Like, what do you care? The freaking goblin, bro. That was weird. Oh, I really like this game. There you go. And stamina is a mother effer, dude. I'm gonna go hard into stamina. For real. Alright, I'm getting gold and experience per kill. I saw that this time. Dude, I want to be a freaking necromancer. Please tell me how to be a necromancer. Okay, looks like you're done. Alright, that was pretty interesting. Well, that's where I gotta go for the quest, but that's going to be a really long trek up this mountain, so I'm not gonna do that today. But what I am gonna do today is show you where to mine. I do know where to get copper now. Um, as well as stone and, and and things like that. Wait, what was that? I guess it was me. Um, I did level up and I did I did choose a new skill. Let me show you that skill really quick. It's this one right here. Um, horizontal slash. Uh, horizontal slash deals six times weapon damage. Hitting surfaces creates sparks. Now, the fact that they said hitting surfaces creates sparks makes me think I could start fires or something. Um, which does sound pretty interesting. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure my sword, because whenever I, like, sometimes my sword just isn't equipped. I don't know why. And I can't equip it, like, without doing what I just did. Alright, so we got some, uh, goblins here to dispatch. So let's do that. Um, one thing I've noticed is that the enemies in this game, uh, okay. The enemies in this game, uh, respawn very, very quickly. Uh, so if you're gonna go through, you know, you gotta go through quick. There you go. Not exactly uh, using any strategy there. I'm just kind of slashing. But right up here, okay, again, this is the steps of Esros. 
And right at the beginning over here is stuff for you to mine. So check it out. You got some coal. And you got a little mini game there. And then you've got stone. There you go. And then over here, did I just get a mining level? No, I got a regular level. All right. Stamina is the thing. I love stamina. I'm going with stamina. Come on, hurry up. You got to wait for it to come up. There you go. Increase stamina. There you go. Okay. And then we use this on the coal. We got to get our levels up with everything. So don't leave anything behind. Like right there is silver. You need level five. Right here is copper. And I need a level two. So I want to be able to get the copper without level two. Hope you'll be able to fast travel. Ooh, the ethereal uh, archstone. Those, those are cool. I need those. How much copper did I need? I need like six. I think this stuff will respawn in a reload, but I don't know for sure. I'd like to do some building next episode, but I've also I'd also like to climb to the top of this tower. So, um, I I messed around on this tower earlier, and uh, yeah, it's pretty hard. I, I want to get at least a couple more levels if possible before I before I attempt it. But and, and mainly the reason it's hard is because goblins spawn behind you so quickly. Like, there's no, like, falling back. You try and fall back, and then there's guys spawning behind you. Go, and like that, and like that. Oh, here's some copper. Cool, we'll be able to do this quest. That's awesome. Not t uh, will we do it today? Maybe we will. It depends on where I have to buy stuff. Yeah, we could probably finish up that quest. I, I want to get a robot, dude. I don't know if you, I don't think you actually get a robot, but it'd be pretty cool. I mean, I'm making a robot, so. All right, that looks to be about everything. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into overworld view. So I couldn't tell where this place was in overworld view. So I'm kind of curious on where I end up on the map. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. It was right there. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here and we are going to go into... No, not there. We need to come up here and go into El uh, Elder Glen. I think that's where I need to be to buy the other thing I needed for the robot, which I don't remember what it was, but let's just get into Elder Glen for now. There we go. Once you and once you enter Elder Glen, you can't like leave it and be on like first person view. It'll automatically put you up top again. You've entered the city, hubs for merchants, guilds, and quests. Completing quests in the city will make them like you. Um, having negative with the city will result in price civilians, vendors flat out refusing to speak to you. Okay. I don't know what you could do to piss these people off. Maybe you could attack them or something. I don't know. Um, let's just check the quest really quick. Uh, we're going to disable this one and do this one. Okay. So we should have six copper ore, I'd imagine. Let's just double check. Um, oh yeah, I got two of those. That's cool. Uh, copper ore. Yeah, we got 15. All right, very good. So what was the other thing we needed? Um, deliver magnifying lens. He, um, he needs a magnifying lens. He provided me with the funds to purchase a magnifying lens from the gear beard store in Elder Glen. Maybe I found him. Um, gear beard. Uh, are you the gear beard? Are you the shopkeeper for the gear beards? Not anymore. If you're here to buy something, go talk to my son. He's working on the anvil over there. Uh, I'm looking for work. Well, I might have something for you. What do you need? Okay, good. All right, very good. Green slime sounds good. I hear the anvil. Okay, here we are. Looking good so far. All right, what do you have in stock? We need magnifying glass, right? Magnifying lens. Trade. Um, where's my money? This is some hard work. Where's my money? I, I know I have money, right? My wife's gonna kill me. I'm not sure. Maybe I gotta trade something else. Smithing is my passion. Oh, okay. So I could trade other things. Oh, the money was up top. I saw it. Okay. Always push yourself to improve. So how do I, how do I put money down there? Can you spare any gold? Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can't figure this out. So I what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna number. sell some coal. Coal seems to sell for a decent amount. Um. Is there something else I can get? A bullet. Um, ooh, a sword. How good is the sword I got? I don't know. Should probably get a shield? That's probably gonna be too much. Oh yeah, it's way too much. Way too much. Dagger. Yeah, he probably doesn't. Mean. Um, nail? Yeah, there we go. We'll get some nails. Alright, there we go. 
Let's go home and uh, give our boy uh, what he needs for his robot. Should be able to turn this quest now. Yep. I don't know why that tutorial keeps popping up. I guess in case you miss it, it's good to have it. It only takes one second to get rid of it, but I don't need it. All right. So I think the guy was in here. Is this him? He's got an exclamation point. Um, let's see. Here is everything. Cool. Got experience and some gold. Very good. Thomas adjusts his goggles, smooths his hair, cracks his knuckles, and gets to work. Before long, I'll take form, barrel, object, probably fix. Okay. Fantastic work. Thank you. Truth be told, this is just the most basic form. I have mine, a proof of concept, if you will. Now that I have a basic idea down for experiment schematics, meaning I have no further use for this bot, I will take it. Thank you very much. That's what I was hoping. So where is it? Where are you? Um, drone that helps you loot areas. Um, use. Oh, look at him. Okay. Stop moving away. Okay, so I retrieved them. Okay, cool. I don't know how he's going to help me loot areas, but it sounds pretty awesome. Guys, if you are excited for this game like I am, make sure you uncage that like button. Tell your friends, share the video, um, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm open to any tips as well. And um, yeah, if you're new here, uh, maybe you want to subscribe for more daily videos. I put up 14 videos a week, so you're always going to find something you like. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.